so I bought this new uh, Sony Nex camera. It's I got it like $200 second hand. Um, it's a good camera, I really like it. Doesn't do any time lapse though. So right now I'm working on a little remote for it. Uh, so what I've got to get, I've got a camera, I've got my Sony uh, Nex remote. I think I bought this for like a dollar from China online. And also just an intervalometer, Viltrox. I think this was like $10 or something like that online as well. Pretty cheap things that I'm about to make. Um, they're available. They're available uh, already made. Um, I don't know. You, you can find them. They're there online somewhere. I'm not affiliated with them and I'm not into paying $60 for something that I can make for uh, $20. Let's get into this. First of all, you're gonna need a soldering iron, some electrical solder, um, I think some wire cutters, wire snippers. So first things first, um, with your intervalometer, you should get one of these cables. Um, they just plug into the end there like that. Just strip away the uh, insulation. Um, there's three cables. I should have shown you that before I cut it all open. There's a little white cable in there. So you don't need that. Um, but, uh, cut the cable and pull the insulation off. The next step is to remove the casing for this infrared camera. So I've got a little Stanley knife here, but you just want to you just want to get your Stanley knife in underneath there. Stanley knife in underneath here. Just like that. And peel, peel that casing away. I've identified the two uh, places where you need to connect the uh, positive and negative wire. So there's two little black dots there. This one here is where the positive red wire goes. So this is the red wire. And this is the negative wire or the ground wire. And it goes here where that little black dot is. I've, uh, I've connected this in here, as you can see. Red in that top one, positive, and ground in there. No, it's on. I got it set to one, uh, one, one second intervals. Um, well, it's delay, I guess. I don't know what. And my camera is on remote. See that little button there? That means it's on remote. Um, so basically, this is ready to go. If I just push this down. All right, let's try this. Ready? So it's taking a photo every one second. That's so far, I'm just gonna well, uh, solder these on and then I'm gonna finish up and I'm gonna show you the finished product. So I've got it open and I thought I'd just show you on the inside which ones I'm talking about. That's the positive. And then our negative is... So I'm just gonna uh, solder those together. And then we got a little remote working. So the way that I've done it here, guys and girls, or whoever's watching, um, is I've put the wires in ready to be soldered. I've put it through the top of of the uh, the infrared remote. I just made little holes. I'm going to push it through like that. <laughs> okay. So I finally finished my little remote thing here. So I've got 10 photos set up at two second delays. I think that works best. So I've got 10 photos and we'll see how many it takes. So it only took five. So I guess I just gotta play around with it a little bit. But the good thing is, is that this method works. I guess if you guys need any help with anything, uh, give me a message or comment below and happy snapping.